Okay, good morning everyone. So today we will see a small equation like square root or absolute value using absolute values. So let's see first, what does square root of 9 mean? Whenever we have a square root, it means it is a positive square root. So this will be equal to 3. Its square root means always positive square root. If I have x squared equal to 9, it means what should be the base x in order to get 9. So in this case, I have two choices. I am writing the square root by myself. Therefore, I have to write plus minus square root of 9. This means plus minus 3 or minus minus negative 3. So the base will be either 3 or negative 3. So let's see square root of 2 square. This will be equal to 2. The base is 2. Square root of negative 2 square. Square root of negative 2 square. In this case, it will not be equal to negative 2 because square root cannot be a negative number. So negative 2 square is 4, therefore square root of 4 is 2. So this is 2. So in this case, I have 2 or negative 2 here, but we have the same answer. Therefore, what can we say? If I have square root of negative 3 square, it will be equal to 3, not negative 3. So we say, whenever I have square root of x square, my answer will be always absolute value. Square root of x square is x when x is greater than 0. Greater than or equal to 0. Or it can be negative x when x is less than 0. It means whenever I have square root of x square, my answer will be absolute value of x, which is either x or minus x. Absolute value means it must be x or minus x. Therefore, in conclusion, square root of x square is absolute value of x. It's not only one answer. We have two answers. Okay, that's simply about absolute values.